United Way of St. Charles has been working to improve our community for over 50 years. We currently serve over 40,000 people each year through our many programs and 30 partner agencies, such as Volunteers of America, American Red Cross, Miracles to Milestones, and a few partner agencies we'll take a closer look at now. So it truly is a community project. It's all with volunteers and volunteer labor that um, we built this. And we started with three riders and two horses. Give me a high five. Oh yeah, thank you. The only place that um, individuals with disabilities can get therapy is in the doctor's office. Well, this is not the doctor's office. This doesn't feel like a doctor's office. It's funny, because I came out here because I was like the horses and I stayed because of the kids. You ready, Kyler? My daughter was diagnosed at a month old. She has what's called Prader-Willi syndrome. And it has a lot of different things that come along with the syndrome. One of the main things is she's very low muscle tone. Um, the first year of her life, it's failure to strive to where they kind of um, describe it as a bag of flour, just limp. Um, she didn't, she couldn't sit up by herself until she was 13 months. She's almost two next month in July and we're still working on freestanding and walking right now. We see a lot of different doctors. She does seven therapies every week. You ready to ride? And um, her main doctor is actually out of Florida and this is one of the main therapies that she pushes is um, hippotherapy, horseback therapy, because there's nothing that stimulate, um, can simulate it with the, her core muscles and that's the main muscles we're trying to work on right now and building her strength. When we first came, she was maybe mm, mm, a little over a year and we could barely, we maybe went for 20 minutes and you were definitely holding her on and it was, a, I think it was a lot more work on the people trying to hold her on because she just didn't have the core strength and now all she needs is a slight, like you're there. She knows she can't lean to the side. I definitely see a major improvement in her. You ready, Nicole? Yeah. It, it's just empowering for me because you're up high. You know, I'm, I was in a wheelchair, so I'm always low. I'm always looking at I mean, people like that. I have multiple sclerosis, uh -huh. and it's supposed to um, help me walk again. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, you know, help me, help, help me in my process of, of walking. Mm -hmm. Because when you're riding the horse, it, mim it mim mimics the muscles that you use to walk. Mm -hmm. So, and it, it helps me with my core. If it, if it gets you, if it gets you out the house, it's uh, it's thumbs up. It got to be good, and then the, the benefit is going to be the wonderful experience with bonding with the horses. They're so non-judgmental. You know, we feel like the the um, the Capital One or the, the what's the the Mastercard commercial. You know, buying horse feed is so much, and buying hay is so much, and all these other things cost so much. But to see a child or an adult walk or do something that they weren't expected to do, um, that's priceless. Give her a high five. There you go. Reach. Oh, you, there you go. I came to know Alpha Daughters. I was really trying to get help for uh, one of my other friends. So I was really going with her to kind of get her some help when we came to the United Way office. And uh, when we came to the United Way office, you guys referred us to a partnering organization that you guys had named Alpha Daughters to help out with housing and assisting at that particular need. And uh, so we went over there and I'm the type of person, I got it all together, I don't need no help. So I'm just sitting there helping her and um, introduced her to Miss Shirley Sims. And uh, she helped her out, and then she looked at me and she was like, uh, you need help. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, I got it all together. What do you mean? And she read me like a book. All oh, honesty, and I know I, we could laugh about it now. I was ready to jump off a bridge. I hated life. It was, I was stuck. I felt like I couldn't make any moves. I felt like I couldn't do anything, and I'm like, this is not how it's supposed to be. Don't tell me that this is it. And uh, I guess what I want people to know is, is you can be walking by people every day. They can look the part, they can look so great, they look like they have it all together and not. 
So it's like the people that you work with, your family members, your friends, you may think that they're not going through anything and they're probably the main one. And that's what the organization is about. It's about helping women, especially women that's been in uh, domestically abusive situations, helping them recognize the problem. And not only just recognizing them, let's find solutions to those problems. You never know who you're giving to. You never know if it's your daughter that's gonna walk into the United Way that need help. You never know if it's gonna be your son. You don't know if it's your mother, because I've been in meetings where it's somebody's mom or someone's grandmother. I did a speaking engagement for United Way, and I had a grandma come up to me and she said, you have no clue how much you blessed me. I never talked about that to anybody. So you never know who you're helping. You might be helping the next president or the next child or the next college graduate. You never know who it is, and then you never know when you have to turn around and need to help yourself. Joyce turn to climb. It's awesome. If it wasn't for United Way, I mean, he wouldn't be able to, he wouldn't, I don't think he would have grown as much and as fast. The progress was just so fast. He's only been in therapy a year, and you know, just with the equipment that he utilizes, it, it just helps him tremendously. I. I. Ice. Nice work. Okay, which His speech next? has gotten much, much better. Um, he's able, as far as his social skills, he's able to communicate a little bit better verbally and interact with other kids his age a little bit better than he did before um, speech became involved and occupational therapy became involved. All right, good job. Hey. Oh, there he goes. All right. I mean, it's really awesome. I I mean, I think that it really does help him out a lot, so. Touch. Ever since he started with the iPad here, we've gotten him one at home and it really makes a big difference. You know, there's lots of different apps to help with autism and just games and he likes puzzles, so we can do that on the iPad and we have one that um, he can take pictures and turn it into puzzles of things at home. Five. Good. Good job. All right, let's. Christopher had a stroke before he was born. He had two strokes. Um, but we just started here in February, and uh, he's doing awesome. What would you say about a garbage can? Garbage cans are. What's the word? Stink. Stinky, right? So. Oh God, they're just. They're wonderful here. I can't say enough about them, and thank you for giving us the equipment to, to make therapy fun. I mean, because it's a challenge for our child because he has to use every muscle in his body to do something that we take for granted. And uh, thank you. Donate. It's not even, we give to United Way. My husband gets through his job. Don't think about it, just do it. I mean, because you're helping our child. And not just our child, but all these other children who our child is lucky. Some children aren't so lucky. Now's your chance to make our community a better place. Give, advocate, volunteer. Great things happen when we live united.